Do you deal with anxiety like you just worry about everything? Maybe even being in social environments like social anxiety. Or what about like the gas prices? They are so high and that, you know, makes everything else go up. And you're working as hard as you can, but you can't make ends meet. It can cause you to worry. Everybody deals with things differently, but a lot of times what will happen is it will just cause people to handle it differently. Some people may, you know, go drinking until they don't feel anymore. So then it just relieves some of the pain or some of the fears or whatever the anxiety is causing. Others may get really angry and take it out on people. Some may turn to drugs or food or I don't know, you name it. They may even just get so bad that they're like, I can't take any more. What should I do? And then they go to a counselor and the counselor is counseling them and, or giving them medication. And it just seems as if people don't want to deal with, you know, what is causing this and give me a quick fix because I just can't live like this. Because the drugs, the alcohol, the food, the whatever, even medication and counseling, a lot of times it's just a band-aid. It's just temporary relief. And I used to worry a lot, and then even sometimes I still do. And really, it just winds up making me sick. Or I can't sleep, or it really just ruins my life. And sometimes I'm just wondering, why am I even worrying about this? Because I don't have control over a lot of things that I'm worrying about. And what is worrying even going to do? It's just going to really do nothing but yeah, make me miserable. It's almost like we're trying to trust ourselves with outcomes that we don't always have control of. I know for me, I actually, yeah, I turn to the Lord. I turn to his word. And in the beginning, I would read the scriptures, be anxious for nothing and things like that. And it's like, okay, but I really wasn't trusting in the Lord. I really wasn't getting it. So, you know, I want to encourage you all before you go turn into these other things, take time with the Lord. If you already know him, trust him with those things. Give those things to him and leave it with him. Do everything you can on your part, but really trust the Lord. Yeah, I know it's easier said than done. A lot of times two people will start Googling things to see if there's any advice out there. And I found some and I want to share it with you too.